a fun application of linear functions is the idea of linear cost, revenue, and profit functions. So we can actually use linear functions, y equals mx plus b, to model cost, revenue, and profit. So our first idea, cost. So the linear function for cost, c of x, to produce x items is defined by the following function. So we say that c of x, our total cost, is equal to mx plus b, the equation of a lie. And this, or in this particular case, this is where m is representing the variable cost. And our y-intercept b is representing the fixed cost. Now, keep in mind here, when we talk about our variable cost, this is the rate at which the cost is increasing relative to production. So examples of variable cost include the cost of materials or the cost of labor. Whereas when we talk about fixed cost, we're talking about costs for production that happen regardless of production. So things like utilities, electricity, rent. The next idea is that we have a revenue function, r of x, for selling x items and our revenue function can be modeled using the following linear equation. We have that r of x for revenue is equal to p times x. So this is where p in this case represents the price per unit sold or price per item. So we can see here that our revenue function is represented as the price per item p multiplied by the number of items sold, x. And last but not least, the profit, p of x, for producing and selling x items is modeled by profit being equal to revenue minus cost. So using our function notation, we can say that this is defined as p of x being equal to r of x minus c of x for total cost. Now, be careful here. Since we're subtracting our cost function, it can be beneficial to incorporate parentheses or brackets so that we don't forget to distribute that negative sign through to both terms. Now, one final note here, and that's the idea of the break-even point. So we say that a company or a vendor breaks even when their revenue is equal to cost. So in order to find this break-even point, we can do this one of two ways. So using our definition, the first method is to set the revenue equal to the cost and then solve that resulting expression for x. But notice, if we look at this, setting revenue equal to cost, if we were to subtract costs from both sides, we would end back up at our profit function. So an alternative and equivalent way to find this break-even point is to go ahead and set the profit function equal to zero and then solve for x.